What's going on everybody? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. In this video, I wanna show you guys a new graphics card I just picked up. So right here we have a GeForce RTX 3070. It's a MSI Ventus 3X OC Edition 8 gigabyte GPU. This card's supposed to be rock solid. Should get at least 62 mega hash, or I'd like to think so. I'm not really sure on the wattage, but what we're gonna do right now is take that card, throw it on this test bench, which used to be the old 1660 super amped version rig, and we're gonna see how she does. All right, so I switched gears. I brought this rig to the family room up above the garage. Brought my laptop and the graphics card, so as long as I don't shimmy my feet on the carpet, I should be good. So let's get a power draw on this rig without the GPU in it. All right, so just the screen and the PSU on, right around four watts. All right, so the rig's on. So the system itself is right around 64 watts. All right, let's throw the GPU in and see what the full system is. Let's see. Now that the GPU's installed, Turn it on. All right, so with the GPU not mining and the system just booting up, it's right around 98 watts. So she seems to be registering in Hive, which is nice. I'm gonna go to the computer. All right, so there we go. So what we're gonna do is force upgrade and reboot the rig just to see if it registers the card. I have to wipe out this entire rig because I had um, I had way more cards on here. All right, so with the rig just booting up, it's between 90 and 100 watts. It's kind of bouncing up and down. So we got roughly 60 watts for the unit itself without the GPU, another 40 with the GPU not mining. So once it's mining, I want to see how much power this card's drawing. All right, so she just finished the force upgrade and reboot. It is registering the 3070, so that's good. Um, this is definitely not the right overclock, so what I'm gonna do right now, let's go to my other farm. Let's check this right here. So this RebTech board I have, I have a couple 3070s on here. We got a couple stale shares, that's not good. So we have, so we have this 3070 right here at 2350 and 15 power limit, 1150 for the core. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this right here. Let's get a flight sheet going. All right, so we're gonna change the power limit to 115. The fan can stay at 70, that's fine. Um, this is at 1150, the absolute core clock, and then the memory was at 2350. I'll click apply. All right, so I had to manually update the driver to get HiveOS to basically register that this card's working. So I'm downloading that, uninstalling the previous version, and then I'll be back in a second and we can get this thing mining. All right, so it says the driver installation is successful. So I think we can just exit out of this now. So we will leave and get out of this. Now what we're gonna do here is go back up to worker options. I didn't show you guys how to do this, but you can just load it without the drivers. So now I'm going to disable that back to how it was, go down to the bottom and hit apply. And now I'm going to reboot the rig. Obviously because if you're going to mess with the drivers, installing and uninstalling, you want to disable them prior to doing anything like that. So now the rig's restarting. These red lights are throwing off my camera so bad, the color. Maybe someday I'll get to watch my TV. All right, she is now registering. 33 degrees, 68% fan. All right, so I have the core clock at 1150, the memory at 2350, and the power limit at 115. 
So let's see what we get for a hash rate and let's check the wattage. So the miner is starting and we're at 180 watts. So let's see. All right, we're gonna let it ramp up and then I will check it in a second. All right, so we got this card hashing at 62.53 mega hash. This is just about 190 watts, the wall. Seems to be running good. Let's go, so right now this is in hive shell. I just wanted to make sure the miner was uh, reading the same hash rate. As you can see, 62.53 mega hash. All right, so these are the clocks we're using. 1150, the absolute core clock. Memory is gonna be 2700. We're gonna have the fan at 70 and the power limit at 125. You guys can adjust as needed. All right, so 62.53 mega hash at 190 watts. Seems pretty legit for this card. This thing's actually running rock solid, not having any hiccups, so. I mean, it hasn't been running that long, but for this test, I mean, it hasn't crashed and it's going pretty strong at 62.53, so. Um, the main reason I actually did this testing up here is because I don't have a hard ethernet cable connection down in the garage, so I just plugged it into the uh, Wi-Fi extender that's behind the TV, just for the time being, and you know the convenience of the outlet, so we could actually see the wattage. Only because I have quite a few rigs and everything else plugged in downstairs, and I didn't feel like hunting for a PDU cable to go to this power supply. So let's get this stuff back into the garage. All right, back in the garage so you guys can check out this GPU on the desk. So there's two reasons I made this video today. One, this is a pre-owned card. It's from a buddy. I know it was taken care of, but I wanted to test it and make sure that this ran smoothly, overclocked right. And I also wanted to give a template to the winner of this card. Now you know the overclocks for it. If you recently purchased one of these stickers, you have a chance to win this GPU. I wanted to give a GPU away, especially a 30 series, to somebody in my community that appreciated my content and everything that we're doing over here at Misfit Mining. And I felt the best way to make sure that it went into our community was to do something like this, was to sell stickers and not tell you guys what was really going on. And these were limited edition, only 120 of them were sold, and now they're all gone. So, if you have one of these, you're in it to win it. Pocket Change XD and myself are gonna be writing down numbers. On the back of these stickers, you guys have a number already and probably a note. Please check the back, make sure you know the number. Either this weekend or Friday, I'm not really sure yet, but I will give you guys the details at a later date. We're going to be pulling a number live and I'm gonna give the winner 24 hours to get back to me. If you don't get back to me within 24 hours, I'm pulling another number and this GPU is going to somebody else. So please stay tuned for that. I'll be giving away a few other things and I'll make announcements of that probably Thursday or maybe Friday morning. I'll let you guys know. Won't be as extensive as this, but I do have one or two other things lined up. So we're either gonna have two or three winners for the people that purchased these stickers and unfortunately if you bought more than one you can't win more than once so if you win the GPU you're not gonna get the second prize or the third prize um, obviously I'm assuming you guys know that that's more than fair but as always guys I appreciate you all that's the main reason I'm doing this please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you guys real soon